So I'd like to do some painting here, okay? Um, just gonna mask off this area, do some detail. I'm gonna airbrush it, so. I'm gonna put it here, across here. There. Okay. There. So I'm just going to there. Okay. There. Okay. So I'm going to get my hobby knife. Just gonna pet mask off all the rest of this here. So I have masked off everything here. Okay, I got some like really really thick masking tape, and uh, everything's kind of pushed fat, you know, flattened down pretty well, I imagine. So it kind of helps to run over with this thing here, this uh, stir stick. So what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to use this masking solution anyways, just to make sure. You see that? I, I didn't even see that until just now. There. Okay, and just to make sure, let's just uh, smear this masking solution all over here. Whoops, got a little bit on here. There. There. Okay. This is that part that will go on the bottom of the starship. What I've done is splorched a whole bunch of micro crystal clear in there from behind, from the back. And now I'm just kind of getting rid of the excess because it's got way too much crap in there. But. Anyhow, hopefully this should dry, and hopefully it'll look nice. We'll, we'll see here what how it looks when it's dry, but um, it, it should dry nice and clear. It's my first time I've done something like this before. Hopefully it, it'll turn out well. All right. So this is where you need to kind of really study the instructions and see how the parts come together. I've already modified the parts and drilled holes and everything to get this to work right. Okay, let's get this out of the way. 
And uh, what I can do is put this uh, sh this uh, shrink stuff over this here. There we go. Okay. Now, what I need to do is attach these. Here. Ah. All right. The long one is positive. So here we go. All right. Okay. So what I want. Is my helping hands thingy here? Okay, and I'm just gonna hold this in place. There we go. Okay. All right. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should put, first of all, I'll get a, I'll put a long segment first, just to hold these two guys together, feed them through here, there. Now, I'll put one on this one here, and put another one here. Okay. And I'll have to straighten this out again. There. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to wrap this around again. Alright. Alright. This is... This is what makes me kind of nervous, you know? Um, what I want to do is kind of scrunch this together more. Shoot! Slipped off. Alright. Let's do this once again. Alright. Hold on to this. Now, I want to just get this nice and warm. Okay. Okay. There. Now I'm going to do it for the negative and get back to you. Unless you really, really want to see this. You know what? I'll just go ahead and just film this, I guess. Okay. Now. Yeah. Alright, now, so this is like really a bit different story than doing a silent radar because 
there are so many of these little engine bells to, to wrap these uh, uh, LED leads into, and this is far more complex. So, yeah, this is where I'm, I'm leveling up my experience points. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. See, this is, uh, this, this, this makes decals easy, seem easy and fun, you know? Uh, especially also the, these, uh, this 5mm LED came with rather small, uh, positive and negative leads, so... Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. <sighs> Let's get this nice and warm. And here we go. Just kind of draw this out. All right. Now to make sure that these uh, jerks don't touch each other and short out. There we go. Let's there. Now we're gonna just uh, run this over here. Okay. All right. Now this heat shrink tube just kind of protects these uh, leads from accidentally touching each other and preventing it from, you know, lighting up. It's not going to destroy the LED. I don't think at this at this low of a voltage. But this is how you kind of, you know, take things. Kind of, you know, t take care of this kind of stuff here. All right, so here we go. Now, what I might do is just go ahead and use this. Get this nice and tight. There we go. All right. So what this is going to do is, uh, you know, this is going to come together, and then this this crack here is where it's going to it's going to head into the the main part of the the, the body of the, the the model, right? So now here we go. Now let me kind of make sure about. And you know, you know, I'm not using any glue. I don't want to use any glue right now. All right. Yeah. So these two pieces have already been put together. The, the you know the, the the been painted in that uh, uh, the burnt iron color. 
There. Kind of just stick this together. And here. Okay. Okay. It doesn't really matter, I guess, if, if these little ridges are horizontal or vertical, whatever. Instructions say vertical, and that's just what happens. It, I didn't really plan that. So, this plugs into this like, like, like so, actually. And, actually, now that I think about it, maybe I don't need this. I think I should just cut this off. I made it too long. All right, I'm just gonna cut this off, and then I'm not gonna bore you too much. All right, so I'm just going to cut this off here. Just make sure I have plenty of length of this here. I can always just buy more. It's not like this stuff is really expensive. I have more than enough length here. Okay, now this part is done. All right, now if I want to, I could go ahead and uh, assemble the rest of this on top of this, but uh, right now, for right now, you know, don't worry about it. You'll see that later, okay? So the next step here is to do either side of the ship here. You'll see that I have cut out a part underneath here. So it's not, you know, here's here's the the slot where the, the snap fit goes and I, I made I drilled a hole here, okay? Now here's the other snap fit here and the hole will just kind of, you know, fit in through here, okay? So this fits on like this, okay? Now what I want to do is, I guess I can do the bottom one first. The Okay, here is my wire stripper. Okay. All right, okay. Now, again, twist. Twist. All right. Alright. I got that in there. Oh golly. So from here I have a greater risk of the wires the, the, the LED leads from touching each other. So I'm definitely going to put this uh, heat shrink guys on here. Okay. Now these will oh yeah okay this is gonna have to fit up here and this fits like so hmm all right now it, let's just let's just make sure this is gonna work here okay now, this is the one that has like those little uh, ridges, the little teeth where this fits onto, okay? And I want to make sure that these fit where they're supposed to fit, okay? And this goes here. You know what? I think all I have to do is just insulate just the positive lead, and that's the longest one. I'll just leave it like that. Okay. So. These will feed through here. Alright. And, shoot. You really have to think two or three steps ahead 
with this, okay? You really have to think ahead because you don't want to assemble something like this and then you have to end up like, you know, cutting out the wires and then, you know, opening it up and redoing the whole thing again. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Shoot. All right. And I I I have to be really careful. I don't want to there. I don't want to end up, you know, breaking one of these uh, these leads here, you know. That would be the opposite of good. And uh, that would happen to be bad. Because, you know, bad is not good. Alright. There. All right. All right. That is connected. And it's time to move on to the next one here. All right. So you get what I'm what I'm doing here. The negative's going to go on here and then I'm going to put this Installation onto the the positive okay. lead here. Mission accomplished. This is going over here, and I'm gonna just uh, have the sheet shrink go into place. There. All right. So this part is going to fit in like so. And the little teeth will fit onto here, okay? Now, here is there. Alright, please, please let this work. Please let this work. Um, you know what? Hold on a second, I'll get my, uh, my nippers here again. Alright. Snip that off. There. Oh! There we go. Alright, what I did was I shortened it. I had to uh, strip off the wire. I, I cut the LED lead. And... There. It should hopefully... I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. Oops. Ah. All right. Go in. Okay. Jeez. Just get in there. Now, oh, see, that's why this is, it's got a kink.
There. Okay. Whew. Now let's see how this fits into here. Okay, this is done. You know, I what I probably need to do is use some... I don't know if it's going to be CA glue or some uh, epoxy glue. I need to get this situated properly. Um, yeah, CA glue should be okay, I guess. Gosh, all right, this is turning into a very long video by now, I think, because you're you're watching me really struggle. And hopefully this struggle is going to pay off. I really hope it's going to pay off. Okay. There. Ah! Alright. Now, before I go any further, I what I need to do is, of course... Um... Jeez, this needs to be completely gone here. Okay, what I need to do is test, make sure that the electricity is, is conducting fine, and be done with this, okay? So I'm going to apply some more CA glue. I'm just going to, well, I guess I could use regular model glue. But whatever. There. This is where this this goes into here. And I just want to make sure this is uh it's gonna be fitting okay. So anyhow, thanks for watching. And uh I'll get back to another video on this, hopefully sometime soon. So live long and prosper. May the force be with you and so long it's and thank you for all the fish. Goodbye.